uh, which is this afternoon, but we're going to do it today. Uh, I'm going to show you some things that I've already started on this tractor seat. So I'm going to show you some things, what I've done so far. Uh, this is the bottom of it. This is basically the way that it looked. It looked like crap. But once I cleaned it up, put a little dye on it just to try to make it look back new again. I take this right here and I, I take a, a, uh, a grinder and grind those staples right there out like a side grinder with a hard wheel. I don't never spend a whole lot of time on pulling them staples out. And uh, this is the foam. This is the way it came. It came with a pad. This pad right here undoubtedly is supposed to cut the tractor off if you get off of it or whatever, but it was in there and it was already cut. So the wires was cut on it. Plus it's got an indention in the foam that's about a half inch deep for this pad to go in, but we're gonna leave it out. You can look on the bottom. It's been in there a pretty good while because it looks like crap. Here's some of the pieces that was in it. They're rusted up real bad. Got some more over here. They were all just rusted up and in pieces. You can tell that they were, they really just had just come apart. So there wasn't nothing. I tried to grind them up just to get a pattern off of them. All right, so I took and I had some inch and three quarter and I cut the inch and three quarter. It's just something that I had. It looked, it was a little bit rusty too, but it was just surface rust. But I cut them the length, the same length as these right here are. So I cut them like this and I, I was able to find out where the holes were on it. So I drilled the holes if you can see them. And I took a T-nut. If you don't know what a T-nut is, that is a T-nut. That's what they, uh, most furniture users and boat seat builders use and also uh, golf cart seats have them in there. So uh, what we do is I took this right here and uh, I stuck this in this piece right here and I put it in backwards, if you can tell. Maybe I can lean this down. All right, I took, I took the teeth and I put it in this piece right here backwards. Normally, you know, it goes like this and hammers in the wood. But uh, I took a bolt and I started the bolt in started the bolt just like this and and then I took and welded just spot welded this piece on and you can see it right here that I spot welded it in place if you put a bolt through it like this then you know you've got it lined up and it'll be easy to start next time now these came with a clip so it just starts right in there pretty easy all right, these came with a clip that was, this is pieces of it, you know, just a tiny, thin, not made out of nothing clip. So anyway, I took these pieces, you see that piece right there was all rusted up. I took that piece and I just took my two pieces of inch and uh, three quarter and I cut it, I lined it up just like that. And I just, instead of bending it, I just welded it in the angle that it's in. You see that? All right. And I cut all these pieces and made it to where I could put the seat together. All right. I might could get by using this pad right here. But it's, it feels like it's just, and it's got some big old, there's some rust. But it, it's got some big old pieces and chunks out of it. So I'm probably just going to cut a piece. I've already got some pad that's kind of like that already, and it's pretty firm, so I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to cut these angles. If you look on the piece right here, you can tell that whoever done it, that's about an inch. So they just cut it at an angle. I might not have to cut it exactly like that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise it a little bit on the sides.
All right, so here we go. Where are we? It's always been top cord on. All right. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut me an angle out of it and I'm going to have to take and cut this piece right, cut these pieces and put them together because I'm, it don't have to be something really nice to make these, these beveled pieces. I always take the market. I just usually pinch a little piece out of there. Just like that. Just cut it in two. Um, And while you're doing it, you can always just take your two pieces like this and put them together. Like that. Spray them both at the same time. While that's drying, I'll take this piece that was like this. I'm going to line it up. And just cut me even, even cut all the way down, just like this. All right, just like this. Maybe I could use that for the other side. Um, I didn't know I was going to cut it so straight. Okay. We'll take this, just like that, and we'll put these wedge pieces on here. That's a little bit thick, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. Yeah, that's a little bit thick. I'm going to come in here and slice it down just a little bit because it needed to be about an inch. So that's about an inch, if you can tell. And it, it lowered it a good bit, so I don't want it I don't want it to be jacked up too much on the sides. Alright, so now now that looks a little bit better. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm these two pieces glue them down somebody else had already glued a bunch of crap on here so that's a bunch of glue that's on there so who knows i don't know how old the crap is I'm also going to take, before I get too, too far into it, and put these pieces that I got. You can see it's got a hole right here. So I've got to line this hole up. That way, the, the guy can, man that owns it, he can, he can go ahead and, uh, and be able to mount it to what he's working on. All right, so what it had in there was some kind of steel rivet, but I'm gonna use an aluminum rivet. We call them race car rivets around here. Most people with a round track car, that's what they use to put the panels on with. Alright, 
That's what it is. See, that just holds it right into place. The bolt hole lined up. Uh, we got another piece. This piece didn't have a bolt hole in it. It didn't have a bolt, so it wasn't part of the part of the mountain. What I did do was I went ahead on and drilled them all at the same time because that's that's just what I was doing. I think that's more or less just to make the seat instead of it because it's pretty thin and it's just flimsy. All right, and here's my new pieces. I figure that they just build this thing at a battery and they probably are all the same. One side is the same as the other side. I don't think they would make them all different. But it's best to check, because you never know. People, people do some funny things sometimes. run across a stumble somewhere along the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to drill that hole out. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it, it, it wasn't nobody's fault but mine that, that the holes weren't just lined up just right. But you can see that it's, it's really close, but really close don't, don't matter. holes was drilled a little bit too big so what I'm gonna have to do is is come back here and hit them with a hammer swell that rivet up it goes through a pretty good ways it just needs swelling just a little bit to keep it in place All right, you see I just hit them with the hammer, swallow them a little bit. These holes right here were a little bit, a little bit bigger. Also, but they, 
they look like they work. But I'll probably go back and swell them up too. And what this mainly does is just hold the side in the place. Every now and then you get a hold of a rivet that turns sideways in the gun. Like that. And you have to take it and knock it through. Let's see if it'll do it now and grab it. If it breaks a little piece of the rivet off. It don't never do just, just for that. All right, but it did come off. So that's good. And it was on the last one. I'm gonna go hammer these down just a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, so all the hardware is on the seat. Now, it's time to put these wedges in, like this. Remember they needed to be about an inch high. And you see, I, don't, I, I put it a little bit over the edge, maybe a quarter of an inch. So now we got our pieces in place.
All right, that's just well wood glue. I put a little bit of glue on it, not a whole lot. And uh, I'll come right here and just line it up. Hanging over, just a little bit over the edge. Mash it right into place. <clears throat> and then I'll take and cut this off. Right along here. Just like that. Leaving about a half inch. And then if you lose your place of what's front and back, and you say, well, doggone, I don't know which is front or the back. You can always refer back to this piece of pad right here. You can look at it and tell which one had the hole in it, because that right there's got a hole in the front where that bolt went up to hold it in place. And these right here are further back. They're further back. That's the front, that's the front, they're further back. So you got to keep these references and stuff in place if you don't. You might wind up putting a you might wind up putting a, a piece on backwards. A lot of people ask me, man, how'd you get so good at a knife with a knife like, like this? Well, I've been doing this a lot of time. You know, eventually, no matter what you do, you might get good at it. If you do it long enough. Uh, here's the cover that was on it. That kind of lets you know that that's what it looked like when they brought it out here. So it had been getting rained on. It'd been every time you sat on it, you get the tail wet. And you see, you see these lines right here that sewed in here. What it was was they tried to make this look kind of like the original that was on here. But if you look, see that split? A needle actually cuts the material. So as it sews, if I sewed through that three or four times, it would eventually just kind of weaken it so bad it wouldn't last no time. But also a needle sticks a hole in it. So whenever it rains, that water will go through that needle hole. It might not look like it, but it will. And that's the reason that they wrap these, that foam a lot of times people wrap it in plastic on both seats because they got so many seams on them, they want them to look good, but they're trying to keep make it last a little bit longer. All right, so we got this right here. I cut it, I cut it and you see that it's uh, it's a little bit right here rough. Can you tell? I mean, that's not smart. If I put foam in the cover, you might not, you might not never know it, but I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say it, you might, you might notice it, you just might not know what you're looking at. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to smooth this right here out. 
Take me a weight, lay on it, hold it. Stick all over your clothes. It don't look like that. It don't look like that foam will get on your clothes. It don't have no glue on it, but it won't come off. Really. Okay, so there's the pad. So that's. That didn't take too long and it's pretty simple. See, I just rounded it on the edge like this right here, if you can tell. So, so what I do is I take a, uh, a piece of vinyl and uh, roll it out. I think he wants it black, so. Sometimes people come in here and really don't care. As long as it's kind of covered up. I'm on a two-tone list. It had kind of like this grain on there to start with. That's a leathery grain. If you can tell, kind of looks like leather. All right. All right. Here we go. I always just lay it out like this. Kind of get a idea of how much it's going to take. as comfortable as I can without as many seams as I can because the more seams you got the longer it, I mean it, the more seams you got it's not going to last as long and that's just a fact Alright, 
So what I've done was, was I just cut it like this to where to lay down. Everybody knows what that is that's in that pulse business. It's just the edge part of the seat. Uh, I marked it over here. That's where my edge is. I want them both just alike. So I'm going to take them and do them just like this. edge and I'm gonna mark it like this where I can find out where my piece has got to go just like that come to the front uh, I know it's got to be about five inches and uh, so that needs to be about 20 inches. So that's five by 20. I'll take this little piece right here. see me? Can you tell what I'm doing? Do I need to move the camera a little closer? Maybe that's better. I come right here. I'll stick this up here, just like this. Now that's the line, you know, you got to always allow half inch for sewing. That way, you'll know that you got enough. You don't want to be an inch too short, so you got to, you got to allow. down I put it face down face here face there you don't want to do it like this and cut it backwards there's a lot of opposites in doing interior work you got to do one side and then do the other okay here's our piece All right, so that's it That. 
need to find out where you're going to be at. So I'm a half inch from the end. All right. Let's go over here to the sewing machine. All right, I got my half inch from the end. <sighs> if you can see, I got it. I folded it halfway. I know this piece is the same side as it. This side is the same as this side. So what I'm gonna do is come right here. I'm just gonna sew this piece right here together. I was sewing some strapping together. Close stitches up. If it was a bigger piece, yeah, I might would mark it all along the edge, but it ain't. It's just a little bitty piece, and uh, I'm not gonna have to do all that. Here's where I start, where I put that snip in there. Could sew a French seam on here, but it's just a piece of equipment and it's not really going to matter. So I'm just gonna lay it lay it down. times to finish it off I'll take and go around it like this right here and just instead of it having just a raw edge I'll just go around it and flip that edge over. I do this on most of the stuff just so it'll have that finished look instead of just a raw edge I mean, I could take and trim it, and I'm sure nobody's going to know it. Oh, 
We got it sewed up. Ain't that lovely. All right. I'll go back to the side. We'll put it on. And see what it looks like when it's all said and done. Uh, just keep in mind, it, it's it's not about that it's a pretty seat. Even even though it's just going to look good, it, it don't have to be a pretty seat. What we're looking for is a seat that's going to last. And uh, I can already tell you that this seat, uh, this seat will last because it's it's not going to have any seams in it. It's got a good contour to it, so it's cold. Whenever he's sitting in it, he ain't just gonna slide off the side. If you take a little bit of air, blow on it, it's gonna dry that glue a lot, lot quicker. I do have an exhaust fan. It's the big exhaust fan. It a lot of air. It actually pulls it in the door, so it, it pulls a lot of air to get any fumes out of it. And if you do this, and you, and you in a room that don't have a big exhaust. Probably need to do it outside. I'm gonna put a little bit more on that. We're just going to push it down. If you can tell what I'm doing. I'm just pushing it down. Making it firm. That also makes it a little more firmer whenever you glue this pad right here. Whenever you glue this cover to this pad, it's going to make it a little bit firmer than what it normally would be. If it was just loose, it, would, it wouldn't be this firm. staple this on, always use stainless steel staple. Don't use stainless steel staples. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna get. Y'all see this shit? Look at that. Rust, rust, rust. You seen them pieces I put in that seat? I painted them with galvanized paint. The reason I did that, so it won't rust. No time soon. I mean, could possibly rust one day. 
Yeah, no time soon. Always take and heat it up. Unless it's sunshiny, then I might go outside and stick it in the sun to keep, keep from having to use the heat gun. That's a lot of contour right here. So I'm gonna heat it up real good. That way I can pull it down with ease. Take all the wrinkles and stuff like that out of it. in one place too long. It will make you do this cover all over again. Uh, we're just going to take and pull it like this. Put my staples right in. Almost done. All I gotta do is go around the side. On another video, I kind of showed you how to go around the corners. You see that slack right in here? You know that's got to go somewhere. So you're trying to take it out. If you don't, I mean, you can. I can cut it all day long but if you want to take it out man that's smoking if you want to take it out you gather it right here right here right here right here you don't want too big of a wrinkle right here Gather it a little bit. How did you go? Check this out. You see them wrinkles? Watch this. Take that wheel right there. Roll them bad boys out, just like that. They're under the seat. It's not really never seen. It's not gonna be seen. It bolt. This bolts into a frame, so none of that's never actually seen.
take it and heat it up a little bit and roll them wrinkles right out. what it looks like at the end. Alright. That's the tractor seat. Smooth. It just rolls over the edge so it ain't gonna have no bead behind your leg. To where if you're riding a long time, you know it could rub you. And the back is the same way. And water will roll right off of that. Just like that. And that's the main thing that you're looking for. You can about do this at home. I mean, you might have to get somebody to sew the ends on it for you. But that's it. Hope you liked the video. I got a bunch more things. I'm probably going to be showing you a little bit little long. It's not going to... Some of it's going to be complicated. Some of it's going to take a long time to do it. And anytime you do something that's really nice that most of the time it takes a long time to do it it's not like you see tv where somebody goes in and about 30 or 40 minutes they fix these seats it's not like that what it's like is is that trim shop guy he has to sit down and try to figure out how to do some of this stuff and it's and it's not easy like you can make a mistake and it can be a costly Hopefully, any of you that want to learn, that, that think you might want to learn or do some of this stuff yourself will, will uh, pick up on some of this. I can't say that I'm the best teacher, but if you can look at what I do and learn, then we're good. Catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.